Okay, we're getting cranked up in Greenwood, Greenwood, South Carolina. How about that, friends? This is going to be the biggest contest in South Carolina. Uh, it's going to be a KCBS. Now, we got the SCBA and the uh, SBN, uh, but these, this KCBS is bringing out all the stars, and it's going to be like a mega event for South Carolina. And uh, We're all excited. Greenwood's excited. We got the teams. I'll tell you the best thing about it is it's Friday morning about 11 o'clock and uh, you can already smell that good smoke coming across there. You know it's all getting ready to happen because once you smell that smell, it's time for barbecue. We got Kings for Charcoal represented right down here. You know that's better than putting the banner out, isn't it? Just put the product out there. We got Rub and Butts Barbecue here. They're right out of Greenwood. That's a home team. Of course, we got Mike from QL over there in the corner. And uh, there's the downtown water fountain. CD Barbecue and more. I've seen some of these guys setting up last night. They came in on Thursday. Uh, everybody's ready to roll. Got the main man coming down. He's got the utility trucks here, the electric, water, telephone. You know, it's really amazing how they can go in here and uh, put together a a place to live, essentially, on the street, electric, water. Uh, of course, everybody got cell phones, but, uh, you know, it gets right comfortable, except for there's no air conditioning, which that's a big part of comfort, I realize that, but. Uh, hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm all right. What about you? Good, good. Right. Hey, it's kind of got the buzz in the air like Memphis and May or something, man. <laughs> this is your everyday hardcore competition. Sure is. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? All right, man. Hey, you mind if I ask you a question on camera right quick? Yeah, exactly. yeah. All right, just, just one quick question. Are you ready to serve grandma's real homemade ice cream today? Of course we are. <laughs> All right. See, that's the hard work behind the scenes right there. down the side of the street. Oh Lord, there's a lot of pull. Big champion. That guy's won a lot of contests right there. He's big in KCBS. Doing a good job. Got the fire department on hand. Got the ice department on hand. Credit to the fire department, police department. Checking, checking, make sure it's a good competition. Wow, I believe it goes all the way down around the corner. We're gonna have to go down around the corner and check this out. See what's down around the corner right here. A lot of more stuff right down here. Greenwood, South Carolina. Festival of Discovery. Oh, that might be like a trying to get in type thing. Okay, well, that's the end of it. Uh oh, look, there's somebody pulling in. 
I had to get this. The General Portitioners. We got a Yoder Smoker, Mono Bull Barbecue. Looks about like a Jambo, it's a little bit bigger. Hey, that's some big information. I bet a lot of you didn't know that. Let's take a look at it. He wins a lot. He knows what he's doing. Yoder Smokers. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Barbecue is a lot of work. A lot of, a lot of equipment. A lot of stuff they got to move in. It's fun though. It's fun though when the party gets started, but a lot of work. Wow, we got a little contraption over here. What's that? Oh, I ain't got it. Wow, that's cool. Look at that. Greenwood, South Carolina. Greenwood, South Carolina. 80 teams facing off. It's gonna be a whole lot of rock and roll. That's an interesting version of a 300 gallon tank. You know, you've seen uh, uh, That's interesting. And they got another, looks like a 500 gallon tank. That might be 300, but I think it's 500. Uh, right there. That's interesting too. That's that's cool. They made their own. Uh, Carolina barbecue. Carolina. Okay. Man, we 11 o'clock, 11.30 or something. They done got the place laying down on it. <laughs> we eat early every day. <laughs> I heard that. Got a lot of work to go on it. You get to rush out. We don't want a pig to die in vain around here. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all excited about the festival this weekend? We always try to come. Oh, do you? Yep. Man, look at that. That's a lot of ribs in there. Hey, how much does one of them things cost like that? Uh, that's, a whole, that's a whole rack. That's, that's a half, half rack. rack. Half, half a rack? Half. Yep. Seven. $7. That's a lot of food. All right, thanks a lot, fellas. Thanks. Hope y'all have a good time. What's the name of y'all's team? It's off the grill. It's off the grill? Off the grill barbecue. Off the grill. Off the grill barbecue. Wow, y'all, look at them. Looks like you just put these butts on a little bit ago. Have they already done meat inspections for some of the people already? Should be all of them. Oh, everybody's already ready to go. Should be. Wow. They've got that orange. Oh, okay. We were expecting a little bit earlier. Oh. There it is. That means they've been inspected, ready to go. If you don't mind, let me just ask you. Um, uh, looks like you built your grill here, didn't it? No, I actually uh, purchased it from another cooker that uh, that actually upgraded. So uh, it's my first one. I'm looking for my second, actually now. Oh, are you? I'm, lo I'm looking to do the upgrade next. Oh, <laughs> uh, what company are you looking at? Any ideas? Or? Uh, actually, I've got my welder cooking with me. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna build, oh, uh, gonna we're build, gonna build from scratch. Oh wow. <laughs> oh that's exciting, y'all. We're, we're gonna we're gonna kind of tie it in with some of the reverse flow reels that are out there and several other folks. Well I'll tell you what, uh Brad has got two Lang smokers down there and, and they sponsored him. Mm -hmm. And uh if you wanna go down there and look at the uh design they got, I tell you it's really Yeah, that's what uh and that's what we've kind of been doing, is looking at the different designs and uh trying to figure out the uh, Man, that looks good. Hey, honey. Huh? That's my wife for everybody in America who wonders who she is. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, I got you. I got you. Uh, barbecue superstars. Bob. <laughs> 
Oh, that's all right. Ten, no, it's be big enough. plenty room. Plenty room. And you can see the slow season. Oh wow! Look at there now. That's how I like to cook them. Uh, you, you're just cooking these to either vend or eat, right? You gonna vend right. them? We're vending these. And uh, it just seems like a waste of meat to me when you're just gonna eat it. It's not competition to cut all that and do all that. And, uh, uh, looks what kind of you didn't put any seasoning on, did you? Not yet. So okay, so you're gonna let them cook a little bit, and then I, I smoke them for about an hour, hour and a half, and then I'll put my dry rub on there, and uh, then I'll wrap them, and then about an hour after that, that's when I put the sauce on them and wrap wow. them again, and, and put them on and let them cook. Okay, that's the big information for our uh, viewers. Now, um, what what exactly is your rationale about doing that? It's just the way you've always done it, or? No, I just found that they're more tender. They seem to come off the bone a little bit. And okay. People enjoy it. Wow. And well. the sauce seeps in a lot better than... So what's the name of your team? Rubbing Butts Barbecue. Okay, what's your name? Cheryl Kelly. Cheryl, okay. How about that? There's some new information for you guys. And uh, shoot, we're all behind it. We'll have to come down in a few minutes when they're all done and see how they came out. Carolina Barbecue Company. I tell you what, I've never seen so many pretty shirts. And I tell you, as far as a DHEC approved uh, restaurant situation, this is like one of the best ones. They came out in the field, and I tell you what, half the restaurants in South Carolina don't look this clean. It's that's, beautiful. That's good to know. Too. <laughs> Sir, I said I was a flunky. Oh, you was a flunky. Oh, okay. I, I tell you what, me and her is the chief scrubbers. Oh, you are. <laughs> Say they're the boss, but you know what's going on, right? Uh, we, we, we know what, what the scrubbing needs to happen. <laughs> well, do you mind if I shoot you getting the Boston butt ready? Have you guys got restaurants too, or do you mostly do events? This is our. This is it. This is it. Yeah, we do do. Uh, do events. Wow, man, if you ever had a restaurant, I would just love to walk in and I know it'd be some fantastic place, man. Yeah, we'll get I'm a little bit angry about cleaning this stuff. <laughs> well, when it comes to food, I mean, that's the whole name of the game. Uh, we, uh, I put some tar paper down, down on the asphalt. I usually put down the, a blue tar everywhere we want to be. To cover the whole range of the whole area. Well, Oh, okay. Never trust a vegetarian. What size do you wear? 2X? Oh, oh, 2X, yeah. They're out the front, sir. Yeah, I really hate a mess. Probably not. He's getting his injection ready. Now, folks, he put some apple juice in there. There's already some stuff in there, so he's got a mixture going. And, uh, you know, that's one thing I was trying to do on my own personal video was uh, uh, mix your rub in your injection. And then uh, you've got the little inside the meat as well as on the outside. And uh, I feel a little vinegated because a, a real barbecue guy did it, did it that way. Well, it makes sense to get the flavor all the way through. I mean, a lot of guys mix, make up an injection that's a whole different flavor than what's on the outside, and I don't, I don't understand that. Yeah, then you're mixing uh, contrasting flavors on the inside and the outside. Unless you got them working together, that, that's a big thing, like a waste of time. Okay, friends. Now he's leaving the plastic on, and you know what? None of it's gonna leak out and, and fly all over the room. That's some big information. I told you I was angling about a minute. Man, I tell you, man, you got this thing. Carolina Barbecue Company, right? Yes, sir. And what's your name? Dale Duckworth. Dale Duckworth. You know, just looking at his place, you guys need to put him on Food Network, man. He'll get barbecue in a whole new vein of, of technology. So you're talking about the trailer being clean. This is my favorite part right here. I don't know if you saw it or not. Uh huh. Oh my goodness, he's got a big walk-in freezer and 
look at how whoa now I know some of you country boys out there trying to figure out how to do it this man right here showing us I have never seen anything <laughs> wow man so like you built that wall there and got the refrigeration hooked to it and yeah I built it all myself oh you built it up yourself yeah I found the uh, unit I had the trailer built with a room for its refrigeration and I found the unit put it in our cells to make it a walk-in really is the that's my favorite part of this whole trailer makes life a lot easier now friends it's about 11 30 no this is after 12 now on friday i assume that most of the companies around here probably still are doing business but the plates are starting to flow and the people are starting to flow in here and man what do you think tomorrow this place is going to be so packed full of people it's just going to be it usually is we usually do it pretty well we do to sell about cook about uncooked meat we usually do about a thousand pounds here and we do 24 cases of ribs plus brisket and chicken and now friends one thing i want to stress right here is that is not just orange juice and apple juice that man has got one heck of a uh, injection going there he has some technology going and uh so you're gonna have to try to figure out what your own injection is but i can tell it's fairly thick and then the plastic it's just gonna hold it all right there right in there against the meat uh you can see on the very edge of the plastic here that it actually is bubbling a little bit when he injects let's see if i can get that on the next injection uh Yeah, it bubbled. So, I mean, it's it's like flowing completely around and compartmented. So, a minute ago, we had a girl say that she'll cook her ribs for an hour and a half and then apply the rub. And then, uh, now we've got him injected with the plastic on and it all just makes perfect sense. Yeah, it keeps the mess way down. I don't do my briskets that way because I trim them too much. I don't do a lot of trimming on the butts. I just put in a bunch of them. You got what you see, what you get on those. You know, when it comes to barbecue, man, there's nothing like Boston butts. They're just, that's like the heart and soul of it, isn't it? I think it is. You know, a lot of people talk whole hog, a lot of people talk shoulders. Uh, for us, the competition, everybody uses butts. But for selling, you get the most yield out of it, you get the most return. That's the whole thing. You know, for a restaurateur or caterer, you're looking for the, the impact for the dollar. I mean, you just can't get it. Uh-oh, uh, uh now here comes my old friend. He's fixing to put some Lowry's on here, y'all. Man, that's some good stuff. Can't beat it. <laughs> Johnny Trigg was on the uh, radio show, and he said that's all he used when he first started cooking. Uh, in the competitions. Well, let that sit a while now. We'll okay. Yeah, yeah try and pull some of them flavors in and. All right. Uh, where's your Where's your main cooker at? Is it? I got an FE back here for competition. We use that Southern Pride out there for them. Okay. If it's all right, I'll just shoot your uh, server line a little bit, and then that'll be it. You get my best coffee. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at there. Oh my goodness, what a plate. I want you to look at that. Now, how much does that plate go for? Uh, four, or that's right dinner is 14. Wow, that's a lot of meat for $14. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same thing, Barry. Oh. Hey, so I need some more ribs. 
gonna be down here in a little bit and he's gonna do a big interview with them. Whoa, look at them ribs. Whoa, that's some fancy ribs right there. Greenwood, South Carolina. Rock and roll. Wow, look at that. Did that come Barbecue from, nachos. Did that come up from the way? Two old men in a grill. <laughs> Okay, girls in barbecue. She's got a big one right out here. Woo! Okay, what you got in there? I got ribs. Ribs. Mm -hmm. And some rib tips. Rib tips. That's your trimming right there. There you go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> What's your name, sweetheart? My name is Stacey Hill, Smoking Grill Barbecue. Oh, wow. Are you the main cook? I'm the main cook. Oh! Oh, uh, have you seen any of my videos with Yazoo Delta Q or uh, Southern Girls of Smoking or anything? No. All right, here's I'm another here's another lady now, a girl's corner. I got a girl's corner on my website, Barbecue Superstars. Oh, okay. Now you're going to be on there. All right. I'm <laughs> <to> Georgia. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I got an NFL guy coming, and uh, I'll get him to do a full interview with you. Okay, thanks. Got to smoke this barbecue. Doing a big one over here. And they got grand championships and all this stuff, and they vending. Are y'all competing in vending? Wow, okay, so you double, you double work. Oh, yeah. They got a heck of a uh, serving line right here. What are you serving out here? Well, we've got uh, beef brisket for brisket hoagies with onions and peppers. Oh, look at them onions and peppers, man. We've got ribs. Ribs, look at them pretty ribs. My goodness. We've got beef brisket for plates. Camera there. Whoa, now I know y'all wish you had some of that. You know, it actually has a darker look than the... Uh, than the uh, Boston Bud does. And there's your pulled pork. Pulled pork. Baked beans. Baked beans. Slaw. Slaw, oh, that's a pretty cool slaw. There you go. Now, uh, could you just give us like one or two ingredients you got in that slaw right there? <laughs> oh, 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 well, we got, there's a little bit a little of oil, a little bit of sugar in there. <laughs> okay, oil yeah. and sugar. Oh, it's a little bit of oil and sugar. Yeah, I yeah, got here. a little pickle over there. Ooh. Now, are y'all uh, related? You friends or just friends? Friends? Yeah. yeah. Friends? yeah. In laws? Some? Okay, just friends. Uh, outlaws. Outlaws. <laughs> outlaws. <laughs> well, uh, we got Rod Lord coming in a few minutes. We'll come back and uh, let him do an interview, and maybe he could taste a little bit of your barbecue. All right, that'd be All great. Right. 